You probably know the gun-toting playboy and grown version of Richie Rich, Dan Bilzerian, aka the king of Instagram. With 27.1 million followers on Instagram, it's hard to deny his place on the throne. He's risen to stardom on the app following a very simple formula. I'm cooler than you, my life is cooler, my girls are hotter, and I'm definitely richer than you. I've offered Dave $10,000 for his cat, he said no. And it's a unreasonable emotional connection. Whether you're living vicariously through him or are disgusted by him, I'm sure there's an argument on both sides. But one thing that is not up for debate is that this guy is loaded. From his $1.5 million Brabus Mercedes G63 to his $250,000 Rolls Royce, if that didn't make you feel poor, how about his two pet goats Beatrice and Zeus, rumored to be worth $3.6 million. Many in the poker world also know Brazilian for his highly contested claims that he amassed his fortune by playing in private ultra high state games. Kind of depends on how you define poker. If you look at poker as a sport like baseball, then you know I'd be like uh, maybe a minor league or high school ball player. He was born into money. His father, Paul Bilzerian, was a corporate takeover specialist who at one point was worth a reported $400 million. Although it was found that, well, that money wasn't all the way legit. He was convicted in 1989 of fraud, conspiracy, and making false statements to the SEC. He paid a $1.5 million fine and drew a prison sentence initially set at four years ultimately only serving 13 months. But that didn't stop Dan from living a comfy life for 20 years in a 28,000 square foot mansion equipped with an indoor basketball gym, a movie theater, a game room, pool with a fountain, and more. Man, he'd like this place though. It must be cool to have everything. Many of his financial exploits are constantly on display via his Instagram page, but today we're gonna go over some of the cool stuff he doesn't show the gram, as well as a little backstory on how he got so rich in the first place. What's going on guys, my name is Marlon Palmer and I'm here documenting the rich life of Dan Bilzerian, AKA the king of Instagram. I'm gonna start you guys off with a little trivia question. How much money do you think Dan Bilzerian lost in a coin flip? And no cheating, I'll let you guys know the answer at the end of the video. Now, hit me with the intro. Dan Bilzerian was born December 7th, 1980 in Tampa Bay, Florida. He describes his life as a big roller coaster. By the age of eight, his dad had five jets, so you can say he had a lot to live up to. He entered the Navy SEALs training after high school, but after a bunch of failed attempts, he was dropped by the program just two days before graduating for a safety violation on shooting grounds. I'm guessing he doesn't have the best aim. Following going broke in his sophomore year at the University of Florida, Dan's brother Adam taught him how to play poker. Dan had to sell some possessions, mainly guns for 750 bucks. He then took that money and gambled on a boat until he was up 10K. Then he took that 10K to Las Vegas and played three weeks straight at the Bellagio until he went home with $187,000. I once played dice and started with $5 and ended up with owing 50, so... It's safe to say he's pretty good at making money. Bilzerian competed in the 2009 WSOP main event and finished in 180th place, winning $36,626 in his only recorded live tournament win. From then on, it was cash games. Bilzerian also alleged to have won $10.8 million in a single night of poker and won $50 million throughout all of 2014. Excuse me while I throw up. Pay me my money. Speaking with All In Magazine, Dan had this to say about his poker tactics. If you look at poker as a sport, like baseball, then I'd be maybe a minor league or high school ball player. But I play with t-ballers. If you look at poker like a business, I'd say I'm fucking Bill Gates. I've won over $50 million playing poker. Who the f else has done that? In 2013, Dan sponsored his friend and fellow poker player Jay Farber with $2,000 to enter an event. Farber ended up placing second in the event. He gave Dan $1 million of his winning. Talk about a return on investment. In addition to this poker playing, he has also appeared in the films Olympus Has Fallen, Lone Survivor, The Other Woman, and Equalizer. He actually helped to fund the movie Lone Survivor with $1 million and demanded at least one scene and 80 words. And after the movie came out and the scene was cut to less than one minute with just one quick line of dialogue, he sued but canceled once he saw his 1.5 million return on the back end. Dan didn't even have plans of being the king of Instagram until a girl he was with on a date became ecstatic about getting 100,000 followers. Getting started in 2014, his account quickly climbed to 1 million followers. By 2015, he had already amassed 6 million followers and was being crowned the king of Instagram. His Bel Air mansion is 31,000 square feet and took a team of 300 people four years to build. 
Inside are four bowling alley lanes, an infinity pool overlooking LA, 12 bedrooms, 23 bathrooms, and the world's largest residential television. You'd think that would satisfy a man, but that didn't stop him from purchasing a 9,400 square foot house in Las Vegas, equipped with a secure gun vault that can hold a thousand guns, underground parking, a built-in backyard grill, and the sins of a thousand daughters. Seriously, I would sage whatever Bilzerian house I purchased. Who knows what's going down in there? Speaking of guns, you might notice this as a reoccurring theme in his life. He got his first gun when he was six and was actually arrested in high school for bringing an M16 machine gun to school in the trunk of his car. He once wrote an Instagram caption that said, My greatest fear is that someone will break in and I won't be able to decide what gun to shoot them with. Yikes. Apparently he wasn't the only fan of guns. On September 4th, burglars broke into Bilzerian's home spray painting the cameras and heading straight to the gun closet. Luckily he had a top of the line security system and the police were there within minutes. Looking at his Instagram, it's clear that cars are also a huge passion and with the amount he spends on them, it's hard not to see why. He's got a 1965 Shelby Cobra worth $2 million, a Rolls Royce that can hit 249 miles per hour worth $250,000, and my personal favorite, the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster worth $300,000 with the license plate Mr. Go, which I'm sure he lets Beatrice and Zeus take for a spin every once in a while. The first time Dan ever smoked was 11 years old. Since then, he's had a love for cannabis, so much so that he founded the cannabis company Ignite International Brands. Judging by the Instagram page, which has over a million followers, it's making cannabis sexy and cool focusing on lifestyle more than the product itself. It's also a Canadian brand. Cannabis is legal here, so uh, yeah, I think he's about to make a couple more million. Gamble on my app, all your wildest dreams will come true. Woo! Woo! Yeah! I'm just kidding, you'll probably lose all your money. Oh. Whether it be luck or pure business savvy and skill, Dan Bilzerian has built out a life millions of men strive to achieve for themselves every day. Although he might not be the greatest role model considering he lost $5 million on a coin flip. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? I told you I'd be back. I don't even think a billionaire version of me would have done that. <laughs> Let me know who you guys would like to see me document next down below in the comment section and make sure you check out some of our other dope Rich Life videos. We've covered PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, LeVar Ball, as well as a bunch of others. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at McFly, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.